Welcome back. It's Friday, and today's Friday update are radio speakers. Speakers. Stuff. You know what I mean. Let's get started! So today's Friday update adds three speakers, a microphone, and new antenna. Antennae. Is it antennae? I think it's antennae if there's more than one. Antennae! And so what this basically is, at this moment, as it's implemented in Stormworks right now, is a way to have voice go into a different location. So if you have a large antenna and you have a speaker over there and you're using the in-game chat or the in-game voice chat, you'll send a voice over to that area and the person over there can hear it. So pretty cool. Unfortunately, not super useful without dedicated servers. Oh, said it again. Dedicated servers. Okay. So what this is useful for is basically making vehicles with loudspeakers or an intercom or if you're doing maybe videos like Komodo, you could probably use this to make some interesting role-playing videos. So really right now, these are kind of props. Uh, and uh, nevertheless, very cool, but still, I just feel right now that these are props and I'm not too sure where the game is going as far as being able to use these in a practical way uh, other than, you know, kind of role-playing. But uh, we'll see, hopefully the game does get dedicated servers and uh these will be more useful and more you know integrated into the world rather than just you know giving us speaker props all right so let's show you how this works so it basically has two antennas we've got a microphone over here we have all three speakers hooked up just for fun and another antenna and this one is going to transmit to that one and i'll show you in a tutorial how to hook all of this up but for right now i'm just going to show you what it sounds like I'm going to push the button. That's going to activate the mic. Now, you don't hear me talking out of the speakers, and that's because you still have to push the button in-game that is your voice chat. So, in, you know, if there was somebody here and I wanted to talk to them, I would hit the letter T on my keyboard or, you know, whatever if you've assigned it, and I could speak to them in the local area. So when I hit T now with this microphone right here, you're going to hear me transmit my voice through this microphone through the magic of air and into these speakers. So watch, here it goes. Hello! And there's my voice in game coming through the speakers, which is on the right side. And unless I don't mess up the audio, when I'm looking at the speakers, I'm hearing them in both ears. And when I turn away, it's only in my right ear. So it is positional audio. So that's very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and stop talking through there. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook this up in a useful way, which is a way I'm going to be using it as a World War II intercom system in, I guess, well, for right now, the BV-238 uh, and 250. But, you know, the B-17, any big bomber had an intercom system. And usually they were microphones on their necks uh, that they could kind of, you know, talk and it would come through the microphone on their neck and into the intercom system. But we're just going to hook it up in a way that looks like this. All right, so let's assume it's a giant bomber and these guys can't hear each other unless they use the intercom. All right, so in the way I'm gonna be hooking these up is a pilot gets a pilot seat and he would have his controls here, but a gunner seat inside the bombers usually end up not using the pilot seat anymore and we have just a little block and that saves for room usually if it's in a tight space. All right, so I have color coded. Our microphones are red, our speakers are green, our button to transmit is green our antenna is yellow our frequency is pink and that is it so i have duplicates on both sides so just like any other component in stormworks we go ahead and let's hook up the electricity and we'll just go from the battery to each one here from the battery to each one here all right pretty straightforward let's go into our data and we're going to see that we have the button and we want to hit the toggle button to the microphone to activate it. And we're going to come over here to this one and hit it to the microphone to activate it. But we're going to do another thing here and watch this. We're going to actually hook the toggle button to the antenna transmit mode and on this one as well. And the reason we do that is because the antenna default to receiving um, audio by default. So if I don't have this hooked up and I try to speak without changing this to transmit, it won't work. 
So what we do is we send the microphone to turn on and we send the, the antenna to turn on and now we are sending audio. So the reason we're doing this is we're using the same uh, radio system to transmit and receive. So if someone is talking, if the pilot is talking, this guy's voice needs to be off so he can receive the audio. And if this guy is, sorry, if the gunner is talking, then the pilot seat has to have his voice off to receive the audio. That makes sense? Hopefully so. All right, let's just go ahead and hook our frequency to our antennas. And I've set the frequencies to 1943, just for fun. And you can <laughs> do whatever you want with those. All right, now what else do we have left? But let's see here. Okay, this one is transmitting. So what we can do is if we wanted to, we could type indicator, oops, indicator, and we could actually go ahead and hook up some lights to these. I didn't think about this, but we could hook up some lights on top of our microphones. And let's, let's paint these so that we know what they're doing. So red is going to be microphone sending and green is going to be incoming. Let's do that over here. Okay, and let's give these guys electricity like that. And like that. Okay, I think everybody has electricity. Okay, good, good. And now we're going to go back to data. And so when the microphone is activated and its voice is going into it, we're going to put that indicator to an on state. And with the speaker, when it's transmitting, I'm sorry, that's the words are a little bit weird here because it says the speaker is currently transmitting. Actually, the speaker is speaking out. The voice is coming out. We're going to go ahead and set that to that one. Okay, let's do it over here. When we're talking, voice is going in, light turns on. Voice is coming out, light turns on. All right, now it looks like we're all ready to go, but we're not quite there. We have to go to this new audio button here and click that. And you'll see we've got a new green kind of color going on here. And so what we want to do is audio received. We want to go to the speaker. Audio coming out or audio going into the mic is going to go into the antenna to be sent out. And we'll do the same thing here. Audio into the antenna. Audio coming from the antenna into the speaker. That is it. Cool. All right. So there is one more thing I want to do. And I think this might be useful uh, more so if you have a pilot seat and you want to be able to quickly do something. So right now, if I'm flying, I have to click the button and I have to click it off when I'm done speaking. I mean, we could hit that into a push button, but that doesn't really work because you also have to hit the letter that you're using for your voice chat on your keyboard in order to speak into the game. So what if we hit both of them at the same time? So if I go ahead and say, let's say number six is gonna go into this button here on the pilot seat. This won't work for this on the, the gunner seat. But on the pilot seat, we can hit number six and make it go into the button. And then what we can also do is go into our settings. All right, so if we come in here, let's see if we can do something very creative here. If we can change this to six. Oh, no, we can't. So you can't bind the same key. So I was hoping that we could assign the six from the hotkey and the voice chat to the same number. So six here and six there would mean we could possibly have used our system here to go ahead and do this. So we could hit number six, it would turn this on, and we could speak while we we're holding number six down. But unfortunately, that does not work. So let's go ahead and undo this. That was a nice idea, but we can't do that. All right, so let's go ahead and see just how it works as is. All right, it's flipping over. There we go. All right, so the way we have it set up is inside a B-17 or a giant bomber. And what we're gonna do is click this and we're sitting in the seat. Okay, so if I click this button, I am now transmitting through the microphone. If I hit the letter T, which is my voice chat in game and talk, and talk. It's coming, it's through, the coming through the speaker over the R. Okay. okay. 
So now I'm going to turn this off. I want to receive audio from the pilot. And I'll come to the pilot seat. And now we're sitting over here. And we're going to push the button. And you'll see that the green light is on. It's receiving the voice. And I'm going to go ahead and say hello. And now the voice is coming through there. Now, what won't work is if I'm over here and I'm saying, I don't want to listen to your orders, Captain. I'll go ahead and push my button. And now I'm pressing it, but no audio is coming through his speakers and no audio will be coming through my speakers because I am set to send and he is set to send. So that is something that you have to be aware of if you're inside the bomber, that you can't speak over your buddy, no. So the other way to do this would be to set these to, let's, well, it's kind of hard, but let's go ahead and try it. We can set these buttons to regular buttons and set it to the microphone and set it to the microphone and give me some power, give me some power and set that back up because I unhooked it. Make sure those are all hooked up. Yay! All right, so now these are set up as a push to talk instead of a toggle button. So I have to push it. Now I'm sending, 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 but of course I'm not sending anything because I have to push the button to talk. So I have to hit E and then I have to hit T and now I can talk. What? What? Where's my voice? So I forgot. I forgot to hook up the antenna. All right, so now it's set up to push the talk. So I push. I hit the letter T, and now it comes to the voice. And I let go, and then I'm receiving, and I'll say, yeah, okay, yeah, go okay, ahead, go and, ahead uh, and there's uh, a, there's uh, a uh, 109, 109 to the right, to the right. Three, o'clock, three, o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. You get the idea. You get the idea. So that is my simple way to hook up an intercom. You can, of course, come up with creative ideas. You can use logic to some extent. Not too much right now, um, but you know, as far as pushing buttons and turning on and off things, you do the same thing you do with monitors and video. But the idea here is just to do an intercom inside the bomber so all of these would be hooked up and you know you do a push to talk or a toggle um, and you would be able to speak within the plane within the game all right so that's pretty much how you hook it up i'm going to show you what it looks like inside the bomber whoa there we go we're loading up the bv238 no 250 still a work in progress but we're going to go ahead and come up here really quick just to check this out and show you how I started implementing it. I didn't finish, of course, but uh, we've got some things going on here. So this is not a tour, so we're just gonna ignore what you see, kind of just, you know, avoid it, avoid it, don't look, spoiler alert. But uh, we're gonna go back here into the wing and into the weapon seat here, the gun, back gun here. All right, so now we're sitting here. I'm gonna turn on some lights here. And the way I've implemented it here is I've got the antenna underneath here. I could probably hide it somewhere else. It doesn't really matter. It could be hidden probably inside here if I didn't want to show it all. But I put it outside. And so what I have is the microphone down here and with the indicator light. And then up here I have the speaker and the toggle button and then the indicator light. So the idea is if we come out here, this thing has four guns that are external. So we've got this one, we've got the back gun, and we've got the side gun, and of course the front gun. And the idea is that all of these will have an intercom uh, set up like this inside them. And so if you're in the gunner and you're role playing on the dedicated server, you can go ahead and speak to the pilot and use the in-game chat instead of using your discord or your steam chat and you know role play so very cool and of course the speakers do depending on like what the distance is from another antenna it can start crackling and popping i'm not too sure what the radius is on these antennas so i'm pretty sure they're relatively clear between these but i can't actually test it right now because i can't be in two places at once but but you get the idea i'm not even sure like if you'll be able to hear my own voice if it's back there i haven't hooked it up yet so we'll check that out so anyway i just wanted to show you how i was making the world war ii intercom do a quick tutorial and you know of course it could be wrong but we'll figure it out as we play with it more but this has been a friday update and i just wanted to jump right in and so that is how i'm going to go ahead and make what i built the uh, little world war ii intercom 
for download in case you just want to look at it if you're having trouble. Pretty straightforward. So I think if you're with you know good with the monitors and all that stuff, you should be good with the, the new radio speaker system. But if not, go ahead and download it and check it out. Hopefully that helps. And that is it for today. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Bye! Oh my, this is very long. Oh my gosh! Are we up to the end yet? To the end, to the end, to the end!